Hello and welcome back to the next part where we are testing ChatGPT and Station X's script and obviously customizing it uh, for our own use. Uh, just to get formalities out the way, this is my own personal lab. I have permission to hack it, to make changes to the system, etc. Uh, please do the same in your labs. Do not do this against anything that is unethical or unauthorized. So in this video, uh, and I mentioned in a previous video, is I recompiled Netcat using MinGW, and it gave me some warnings and some errors while I was doing it, so I had to fix that first. But what's interesting is that after recompiling it, Windows Defender flags the executable, but it doesn't remove it. So I want to show you here is I have uh, the NC32 file available. I'm going to remove it. and when I get a reverse shell here, the moment I try something on the other side to get like a directory listing example, it then kills my session. But if I run this again, just from PowerShell with the command, and I'll show you with the window open, then I can stick and I can do commands, whatever I need to do, even though Defender's busy babbling in the background. So let me show you. I'm going to run this. And if I scroll down here, you can see that it downloaded the file. I have a reverse shell. Now I'm just going to remove this window out the way to show you. The moment I try and do a directory listing, um, on my side, it's, which is weird, is that today it didn't flag it where it normally does flag it. Now, if we go defenders on, normally does flag it and then it removes the actual shell so for some reason today it didn't ah there we go now it did okay so it just took a little bit of time for it to detect okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to rerun the listener i'm going to bring the window back and i'm going to just show you just starting the process again because the executable is still there it hasn't deleted it, it just cut my session. If I start the process now again, you'll see the window stays here and I have a reverse shell again. Let me just mine this out the way so you can see. If I do a directory listing now, I am still there. You can see Mimikatz is still in the directory, nc underscore 32 still there. This is the one that I did initially. I can go to my users directory, for example, and can't tab in this session. But as you can see, is recompiling it does seem to confuse Defend a little bit. It does kill the session, but doesn't remove the file. If I try to run Mimikatz now, uh, let's just go out of here. Go, ah, there we go. Okay, so it took a little bit longer again. So as you can see is, Trying the different methods worked to a point. So obviously we know that there's not a back door that you can say is um, I can get to all the time because it's unstable. So recompiling it, obviously, because this is an old uh, application. I mean, it was, I think, four or five years ago that there were any changes made. And I'm going to try recompiling it again and seeing if I can get it right. But as you can see is I got to a point where I was able to get a reverse shell, obviously it died. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do this with NIM backdoor, where we're gonna create an executable and see if Windows Defender actually detects it. And if it does detect it, what does it do to it? So if you like this video, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe and like my YouTube channel. Thank you.